did I leave the job and what am I doing now and what sort of struggles I'm facing and how I'm keeping myself. Hi up. everyone, my name is Shruti Nagar Dave and this is a very personal video. I'm going to talk about why did I quit my job. Okay, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, all right? After leaving the job, I have recently got back on social media after a long, long, long uh, break, I would say, but I never planned to come back. Honestly, you can never say never. And I learned this a lot of times in my life. I wanted to create an empire of high quality education community wherein people could come together, talk about what children need, only work for the learning experiences that children uh, are you know given at, at a point in terms of their foundational years or maybe wherever they need and then having them uh, sort of uh, freedom and space to design their own future however i'm grateful to the schools where i worked in the past my companies i worked earlier because i don't think you or you don't have any relation with the people you work with before just because you left the job that's not i have but all i want to say is i still talk about and advocate their vision uh, learning that they have taught me experience i've had with them and proudly share out with the world so wherever i go in the world guys who i've worked with remember you'll always be in my communication my thoughts and my pitch Right. Okay. I wanted to do this video a couple of uh, months ago, but I was pretty um, hesitant to sh share because I felt like everyone has their own stories and how much, uh, you know, what impact will I make by sharing why did I leave the job and what am I doing now and what sort of struggles I'm facing and how I'm keeping myself up. First of all, it is very difficult to keep patience and wait for your thing to work. I started branding my uh, work and uh, started distributing and sharing out loud with people what I do, what I'm good at, what I'm willing to take on in future. After doing so much, I realized, uh, okay, I could take out, take out um, you know, consulting as my uh, full-time thing and I could share my knowledge out and experience, design certain courses that schools can take benefit from. But I think I wasn't that confident to sell it because I've never done it before. Um, I see my fellow consultants and people who are, uh, again, uh, of good experience in this industry. How do they work and what all they share on LinkedIn or other platforms? I feel inspired. I think I know some of the people are um, Erica, Erin. I think I've connected those two people who are from Instagram and LinkedIn. I see how passionately they sell their products and they sell their knowledge to teachers and school leaders. So after having such experience, I wanted to share that, hey, I'm ready. I'm accepting my failure. I'm accepting I didn't do that well, but I never gave up. I wasn't... Uh, out of any action, I did everything possible. Of course, I've authored and I'm a published author of a book called The Wrong ABCs of Preschool, which sum up, sums up everything that I advocate in early education, uh, right from curriculum to mindful education to how we can nurture children for a global citizenship. We can prepare them for global citizen and parents and teachers forget about preparing them for formal schools. Let's think beyond. Let's prepare them for right now. Let's prepare them for, for their life. Let's prepare them for things that they can do adventurously. So I think the whole idea of me leaving the job was to come out uh, there and meet a lot of people across the world because sometimes when you work, there are certain boundaries and limitations that stops you to explore that. So I, I just crossed that boundary. Of course, I lost my security. I lost my stability. I lost the focus. I lost the discipline uh, I was in. However, I'm excited and curious to, to see what's next for me. And I'm recently put up, I'm open to work in, um, uh, I'm open to work on LinkedIn and I'm talking to people about, hey, if I can join you, of course, inside my whole kind of thought process, I'm looking at stability and security, but at the same time, I'm enjoying this process of not, of, of facing rejections. Rejections not meaning uh, quite straight and rude, but yeah, I experienced that because once you get diverse in your experience and when you gain a lot of 
uh, you know, versatility, even the companies or the organization wouldn't know where to fit you and what what work or how to collaborate with you. So I think that is what I'm facing right now. And I feel like, hey, should I change my field or should I kind of niche down uh, to teachers, uh, so teachers training or curriculum or what else. So I'm in that process of whole planning out. But at the same time, I'm not stopping working. I'm still inviting schools and parents and teachers to connect with me. Any tech company, I can, I can be of help. I mean, of course, whatever I've done so far will be contributed. Like I would be happy to contribute to any school um, and also look forward what, what our uh, collaboration can take us too like what's the next uh, level for it so yeah i'm coming out of my fear or resistance and taking this uh, all on this video and ready to share why i left the job this is a sort of a shout out to people who are kind of sitting on the fence whether to leave the job or do your thing i say try it nobody's gonna put you in jail for leaving the job or and if you leave the job and didn't work out go back to them it's okay uh i think we have to change this perception like why do we have to come up with like, india ka culture aisa hai india mein corporate aisa hai wahan pe insecure log rehte hain uh, uh people don't like, appreciate you being that authentic you have to kind of lie a bit you cannot be true you cannot side hustle Come on, this is all something that is inbuilt in the culture, which we can break together. Generation after me and my generation, we are not ready for that controlling uh, cultures in organizations. We would need freedom. We would need sense of uh, ownership. We would need sense of identity that we could lead as a leader in our own zones. So I don't think the uh, the generations you are going to hire in future are going to be open to such cultures. They would want to be uh you know seen as leader in themselves because that those are the people you are educating in your schools by giving so much of wings to dream and then when they come to be your employees we sort of trim it out that doesn't work so if you're running your organization your just relook and review your cultures are you being relevant to people who are younger generation who are recently graduating or what i mean you've got to be relevant leave your nose and i know factors aside and be open to study what people need what sort of cultures they can be highly productive with that should be the uh, thing not coming to office and going to work and uh, entry time and exit time and all those stuff but focus on productivity a real incident where you know in one of the companies where there is this biometric where you uh, ensure people come on time and that becomes your job i think you're div diverting from the real goal your real goal isn't people come on time but your real goal should be people come to work with that spirit with that sense of accountability and ownership only if they enjoy they are going to come so if they're not coming on time or if they are kind of not being present or you know there's a lot of absence this question goes to the companies what are you doing inside that they are not willing to come apart from the personal issues there could be something that's going around so our job is to just review the culture and the organization and have somebody else do it for you maybe we become biased with what i what what we think of and we what, what we can do our limitations our strengths and everything have somebody else do it for you and that is going to give power so power lies in feedback power lies in uh, accepting your weaknesses and that's when we can make a mark ever anything i say connects or resonates to you um just like or share or help me reach people who might uh, take value from all of that i said or i i keep posting so thank you so much have a great day Stay.